In July of 1975, DC Comics unveiled a hero so outlandish that she could only be contained within the pages of a crazy comic book. We're talking about Lady Cop, a female law enforcement officer. Liza Warren was just a mild-mannered woman, but one day she saw her two roommates get murdered. The killer escaped, and Liza was compelled to join the police force. Now, every day, Liza thwarts random criminals as she attempts to track down the elusive roommate murderer. About two pages after Liza's origin story, she bumps into some thugs on a rooftop. They're trying to sexually assault an underage girl. Of course, Lady Cop won't stand for that, so she charges to the rescue. The thugs then start to assault Lady Cop instead. It's disturbing. Thankfully, Liza learned karate, judo, and wrestling at the police academy, so she's able to fight her way to safety. I like how one of the would-be rapists protests his arrest. He says... You can't bust me for kissing a cop. <laughs> um, yeah, I believe non-consensual kisses are in fact an arrestable offense, even in 1975. Of course, criminals constantly harass Lady Cop for being a woman. They make crude comments like, You should have stayed at home washing dishes or sewing a man's socks. Liza then proceeds to beat the crap out of them and locks them in jail. This comic book was trying to be progressive, and I guess I should give it credit for 1975 standards. But then you have some backwards moments that ruin everything. Like when Liza's boyfriend wants her to resign from the force simply because his friends tease him when they hear that his girlfriend has a job. Liza doesn't quit, but she also doesn't scold her boyfriend for being so pig-headed. In fact, she just kind of silences him with a kiss. By the way, I did a little online research on Lady Cop. Apparently, she eventually became chief of police, and even appeared in the fourth season of TV's Arrow. So, she's still alive and kicking. <laughs>